In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make um, an image like this one with the trees and the moon in the background. So, open up a new la uh, a new image, <clears throat> a new image. Um, it can be any size, just make sure it is square. So, I'm gonna have an image that is 500 by 500. Um, you're going to want to get a new layer, and I'm going to name this new layer Surface. Then go to Filters, Render, Clouds, Plasma. And set the turbulence to 4, and check Randomize. Then go to Colors, Desaturate. Then go to colors, color balance, and I'm not really going to mess with the colors too much. I'm just going to give it a tint of blue. And you can use this tutorial to make a planet-like thing, but in this tutorial I'm just going to make it the moon. Okay, then open up a new layer, and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine clouds. Go to Filters, Render, Clouds, Plasma, again, same settings, go to Colors, Desaturate, then go to Filters, Distorts, Eye Warp. Now you're just going to want to kind of warp it, of course. Then, once you have more... Uh, warped it, you might have something that re resembles this. Get another new layer. Actually, you, you're going to want to go ahead and open up two new layers. Um, and go to Filters, Render, Clouds, Solid Noise, and turn up the detail to 15 and check Randomize, then click OK. Then on the layer above that, click, uh, do the same thing. Then set the one, set this layer as difference. And you should have something that looks like this. Then you should, um, then merge that layer down. And go to colors, invert. Okay, now go to Filters, Map, Map Object, and click Map to Sphere, Light, No Light, then click OK. And I'm not sure if it gives you a black background, but it does that to me, and then I'll get rid of that later. Then do the same thing to the Clouds layer, Map Object. And do the same thing to the surface layer. Now to get rid of the black background, I'm just going to use the color select tool. Click on the background and get the eraser tool and erase everything. And I'm going to do this on every layer. Then go to select none. Then set the clouds, or no, not the clouds layer, but the one above the clouds layer as overlay. Then set the clouds layer as multiply. And your image should resemble something like this. Now, get a new layer. I'm just going to name it shadow uh, make sure it is above all the other layers now um, on the cl not the clouds layer but the one above it I'm just going to click alpha to selection 
then going onto the shadow layer, getting my gradient tool, and get FG to transparent, and set your colors black. Then just drag from this corner up. And I want to do this several times to get a nice. I did it three times to get a nice black um, shadow on this on this end. Then get another new layer. Um, I'm just going to name it Highlights. Get your Ellipse Select tool. Um, check Subtract for the mode. And just subtract some of it from... You just want like a small sliver of it at the top. Okay, like that. Then go back to your gradient tool and set your colors white and still have the FG to transparent. Then just drag that down. Then select none. Then go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to give this a blur of, let's say, around 20. I'm giving it a blur of 17 and you can move it to adjust it then you're going to want to duplicate the layer and on the duplicated layer just kind of move it into an appropriate spot to make the white more um, noticeable now you're basically done with the whole moon so I'm going to get rid of the background layer um, Then I'm going to go to Image, Merge, Visible Layers. I'm going to add a new layer. Um, I'm going to name this Background. I'm going to move it under the moon. And I'm going to choose a dark dark blue very dark blue get my bucket fill tool and just fill up the background or fill up the background then I'm going to get my paintbrush tool and I'm going to get the fuzzy circle fuzzy brush and just around the edges just draw some lines and I'm going to go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to give it a very strong blur of around 95. Then I'm going to get, actually I'm going to pos position the moon up in the corner, right there. And then get a lighter blue and just kind of paint around there and blur it again this step is optional only if you want to I just like to give the background some color Okay, now that you're done with that, I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to name it Trees. Uh, make sure it is on the very top. And I've downloaded some tree brushes. Um, you can probably just go onto DeviantArt and get some. And I'm going to paint them in front of the moon. Just like that. And there you go, you're, you should have a fairly decent looking moon.